I'm Mary Louise Skelton, president of Vinny Yoga America. The following exercises were devised for the Colgate University soccer and football training program. They are based upon the experience of TKV Desika Char, whose fame in handling the physical problems of India's sports celebrities is well known. He is also the founder and guiding light of Vinny Yoga America, Vinny Yoga International Association, and the Krishna Macharya Yoga Mandram of Madras, India. Demonstrating and explaining the series will be Larry Payne, founder of Samatha, the premier yoga clinic of Los Angeles. Mr. Payne, a founding member of Vinny Yoga, is also well known for his work with sports figures. Mr. Payne's teacher is Sri Desikachar. On behalf of Vinny Yoga America, I introduce TKV Desikachar. Hello. Recently, I was invited to watch the stretching exercises of the football and the soccer players of the Colgate University. I was very happy to see that most of these exercises were similar to the yoga exercises that we are used to. I proposed to the chief coach, maybe we can uh, utilize some of these exercises and put them in a slightly different order so that these exercises can be better organized for smooth flow and yielding less risks. Larry, my friend, now will explain the principles as he demonstrates these exercises. Nice to be here. Hi, I'm Larry Payne, and I'd like to start off by thanking both the Colgate coaching staff and your fine training staff for allowing me and my teacher, Mr. TKD Deskachar, the opportunity to show you some of our techniques. The reason I was selected, as you will see, is not for my fine technique in the postures, but partially because about 22 and a half years ago, I was out here playing football with you, and if I can do it now, you can do it. Some of the things that you'll notice that are possibly new to you is some moving while we're stretching. Please don't get this confused with bouncing. It's a flow flow series incorporating many things that you do in a very sensible order. The other thing that you'll notice is that the breathing starts to happen when you're moving. Breathing isn't normally incorporated in stretching, therefore we've added something that will also be helpful breathing. You'll see me moving and holding, so we use both combinations. The final thing is that by moving and flowing you'll be in a different state of mind with your stretching state of mind that is more of a sports state of mind. And we hope this will be a winning combination for you this season. I'd like to begin with three different standing series, each one a little more difficult. If you use just one part of this, any part will help you. We'll be very happy. Take these as they come, one at a time, each one a little more difficult. One thing that I've noticed in your training are a different way that you move to begin your stretching. From my teacher, the safest way to move in the beginning is to go up to decompress the spine, to elongate. So our first movement is up. I'll guide you through the breathing, but if you have trouble following the breathing, keep two things in mind. First, most of the time when the body folds, the air comes out, exhale. When the body opens, the air comes in. If it gets confusing at all, forget about it, the way you're moving will help you to breathe. Okay, here we go. Inhale, the arms come up. Exhale, we fold all the way down. Inhale, jumping out. Exhale, coming down just a couple inches off the ground. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale where you are, straighten. Inhale out and up, leaning back now, exhale down. Here we go, inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Now just let the breath flow and just watch me as we go through this. Ready? Coming down. Back. Couple inches off the ground. Up. All the way back. Jumping through. Stretching out. And up again. Now we're going to go through this about five times, okay? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And notice my breathing gets going right away. And I'm still stretching. A lot of nice things happening in this series. You might think about all the different stretching that you normally do and see how it flows into this pattern. Okay, that's what we call flow series number one. As we begin series number two, I'd like to introduce the principle of move and hold. First time through, I'll just move through everything, and then I'll show you how we will hold and use this throughout our system. Here we go. Again, if the breathing gets complicated, just keep in mind this system is built so that your body will breathe as you flow. Just use me as a guide point. If it gets complicated, just let it happen. Inhaling up, Exhaling down with your right leg. Inhale back. Exhale, stay where you are. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Inhaling back. Exhaling down a few inches off the ground. Inhaling up. Exhaling back. Same foot coming through again. Inhale. Exhale, stay. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, moving through. Exhale and pull. Inhale. And continue. Exhale. Left foot this time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Okay, now I'm going to go through with move and hold. Forget about my breathing counts. Let it flow. Follow me through the poses. And let's see what happens. To an arch into a fold. Right leg back. And now we're going to come up and hold this position that we moved through before. The count of three, four, five, and take it down. Moving back into the push up position, holding one, two, three, four, five. Take it down. And up. Holding one, two, three, four, five. Move it back. Holding, one, two, three, four, five. Again, right foot. And take it up and hold. Three, four, five, and fold. Take it forward and fold. Take it up. And we're back. Now, I'm going to mix it. Show you how we can mix, move, and hold.